What is going on, beautiful people? Your boy Jeff Gamer back at you with another GTA 5 LSPDFR tutorial. And today, guys and gals, we are going to be improving our improved Blood and Gore mod, right? Um, I did do a tutorial on Blood and Gore, um, along with the Ragdoll and all that, which I will link that Ragdoll mod down below. I highly suggest you go and watch that video and download that Ragdoll mod. Today, folks, we have a new uh, released Blood and Gore with a new Blood uh, mod. We're going to be installing two of them. They're super easy to do, I promise you. And as always, we will go into the game to check them out. So, folks, first thing I want you to do is click the link down below that says Brutal and Realistic Gore. Okay, it's going to be Realistic Gore. Um, a big shout out to Dorals, Brave Coolio, X Ranovision, and Karnath Smetcher. I don't know these names. I don't know these names. But this is one that we're going to be installing. And they, uh, they suggest uh, that we use the Blood V, uh, which is also down there. So first, go ahead and download this file. You're going to click that green download and then click that green download. All right, and get rid of the purchase me box and minimize that WinRAR. Then click the link down below that says Blood V. That's gonna bring you to this page right here. Big shout out to BD King 0 and Jedi Josh920 for this. And they got some videos you can watch, but like I said, we'll be going in and watching and checking it out. Click that green download link and click that green download link. These, these usually, yeah, they download pretty quick, y'all. They're not pretty heavy. So, Let's minimize that and let's exit out of our file explorer. And first thing you want to do is let's bring up our main directory. So to do that for Steam users, you're going to bring up your file explorer and let's sling around over here. Um, go ahead and you're going to go to your local disk drive, program files times 86, uh, Steam, Steam apps and common right here you're going to see your gta 5 folders um just double click whatever which one just click whatever which one you're gonna want to modify i'm gonna go to mine i have mine in a different pathway and there's mine right there and we're gonna go into this one now what you want to do if you do not have a scripts folder okay i have a scripts folder that have all of my other mods in there fast draw ambient crawl injury that crawl injury is also pretty amazing okay um, if you do not have a, this is what I like to call the main directory front page. You're in your Grand Theft Auto folder, you can see your plugins, mods, ELS, all that right here, times 64. If you don't have a scripts folder, you're simply going to go over here, right click, and go to new and write folder, and just type in scripts, all lowercase. Just like that. All lowercase scripts, S C R I P T S. Hit enter, folks. All right, once you do that, I'm gonna delete this new folder because I don't need it. Once you hit enter, double click it. Now, if you just created it, you're, this is gonna be empty. You're gonna have nothing in here. That's cool, because we're gonna change that right now. All right, so what we wanna do is let's bring up the blood V. Okay, you see the blood V right there? Now, non-permanent blood amount, permanent blood amount. So we're gonna go with this one. We're gonna go with the permanent blood amount us double click that and you want to take these two files right here blood v dll blood v i and i highlight them don't highlight the folder just highlight these two files drag them into your newly made or previously made scripts folder okay and drop them you want to make sure it says common grand theft auto scripts up here make sure you are in your scripts folder okay once you're done with that Let's go ahead and double click the blood V I and I. You can always tell the I and I is because they have that little sprocket. Let's double click that. And this is how you can increase the blood within the game. Okay, just by hitting page up and page down. All right, and we're gonna give that a try. So I'm gonna remember that page up, page down. Okay, so let's exit out of there. We can now exit out of this WinRAR, the blood V WinRAR, exit out of that. Let's go back here and exit out of our file explorer. We do not need that anymore. And let's fire up our open iv all right these are very simple to install y'all this is going to be more of a showcase video of the mod 
drag this on over here. I don't know what I'm going to do for my thumbnail because I, I can't do nothing real gory because then YouTube will. Um, okay, so here we go. Now, as you can see, my open IV automatically starts in edit mode thanks to our boy Criminal Justice. Crap! If you want you to do the same thing, you're just simply going to go to tools, options, right here under default work mode. Here's my say read only. Just click it and click edit and then close. That way, every time you open up your open IV, you are automatically in edit mode. All right, folks, let's do this. Bring up that WinRAR that says brutal and realistic gore. All right, bring that up. Now, inside this WinRAR, you're going to see one file right here that says brutal and realistic gore.oiv. Us moderate, us modders love using OIV files. Why? Because it's as simple as this. You are going to left click that file, okay? You're gonna left click brutal and realistic gore OIV. You're gonna drag it right here into your open IV and let go of that button. It's gonna bring this up right here and you're simply gonna click install. Always click the mods folder, do not click game folder. And then you're gonna click this install right here and it's going to install it into your game. All right, once that installs, we can all right just click close don't run game just click close okay once that installs we can get rid of this winrar click our edit mode get rid of our open iv ladies and gentlemen let's hop into the game and see how gory this really is i'll see y'all in there all right y'all here we go and before we get started i want to give a warning this is going to get a bit graphic but as always, Jeffrey Gamer does not condone violence like this. Rather, I promote love, peace, and happiness. As y'all know that, this is just a game. But I've got to do these things to show you what this mod does, okay? So, now, you are going to see my people fall differently. We're only looking at the blood and gore. You're not going to look at the way they're falling. If you like the way they fall, which I know you will, check out the video down below that's called the, the Ragdoll video, okay? My people are not going to fall like your people if you don't have Ragdoll installed. That Ragdoll mod is amazing, I'm telling y'all. All right. So, let's check it out. Let's, uh, let's pop her. And let's see. Now, I don't see. Oh, that's kind of gross. Now, page up. Oh yeah, look at that, page up, blood amount. So, let's, let's take somebody else out. We gotta go all the way, everybody's running down here. Oh God, this is, I feel so awful, do this. Look at the crawl, look at the crawl mod. You see that right there? Crawl injury, that's called. You know what? I'll drop that video down below too. That's crawl injury. That is a script that I got from my boy Maddie. Look at all of them doing the crawl injury, right? So let's go ahead and. Ooh, that was. Oh, look at the way he's bouncing. See, that's that ragdoll mod. I'm telling y'all, that ragdoll mod is pretty insane, y'all. It's pretty insane. But I want to kind of see if we can get somebody where we can actually see. their face oh man look at the holes in his head YouTube if you're seeing this this is just a game I'm so sorry YouTube yeah look at the splatter I I kind of look at that I kind of take this I think I mean I, I'm probably gonna do page down we're gonna take it down to like 20 I think 25 is a little much Um. on his let's check this guy out oh yeah oh god yeah this is uh this is way better than the blood and gore mod that i got that's this is kind of gruesome y'all 
All right, so we're not going to do any more. Y'all get the picture. Y'all get the picture. I'm going to get my channel demonetized if I show any more. So, ladies and gentlemen, down below will be the Ragdoll Mod video and the Crawl Injury video. And I'm telling y'all, those two mods mi mixed with this new video, it's going gonna, it's gonna to set your patrols off. I'm telling you, if you're a cop and you're chasing down a bad guy... That's what you're going to want to do, okay? Um, you are going to want these mods installed in your game. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are new here and you like what you see, consider throwing your boy. Look, he was like, nah, nope, sorry. Consider throwing your boy a subscription. See the way they fall like that? That ragdolls me. Consider dropping your boy a subscription and ringing that bell so that you know a new awesome videos like this are dropped as we do it all the time and don't forget to hit that thumbs up the more thumbs up we get if i can just get everybody that watches this video to at least throw a thumbs up this video would make it out to so many more people and make their day so please at least hit that thumbs up until next time everybody be safe be healthy be positive follow the rules and obey the law your boy jeffrey gamer is out later y'all